feel so honored that I get to be loved by a man that is as amazing as Nick is. Um, I feel like God has really played a huge role in our relationship, so that's really special that um, it's something not only that we want, but God wants for us as well. Nick, I just really hope that you're so excited for today and you're not feeling too nervous and you know that it's okay to cry. <laughs> um, and I love you. Andrew, you are the moon of my life. This Christ is the sun of my life. This Brian's everything brings me life. Like the night when you, we know that there's dark times and I can go to you and you're, you're gonna make me feel better immediately. I feel best when I'm with you. Um, just, we know through this past season, there have been many times where we felt alone or, <clears throat> or just sick of being far away or stressed and feeling the weight of school or work or any of the negative things that can affect us. All we, we both know that all we need is just a little bit of time with each other and those things, the weight of that feels so much lighter. I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with you and to finally be yours and I'm excited to never have to leave you, um, to never leave your side again. I love you. my love. I love you. <laughs> I love you for your heart, the way you care for your friends and your family, the way you long to do what is right, the way you, you even cherish all your plants. <laughs> I've cherished all the times we've laughed so hard we start crying until our abs hurt. And I've cherished all the memories of you sending all the typos through the late night texts or accidentally falling asleep on FaceTime. Although I don't show it very well, I cherish how excited you get over the dollar section at Target and how excited you get over looking at baby clothes at Target. I cherish your smile every time we see each other after being apart for weeks. And this list can go on forever, but that's why I want to be yours forever. I can't wait to share all the other moments that we will have together. Kendra. There are four tenets I vow to live out in my marriage to you. The first of these is love. I vow to love you. To remember that love is not just a feeling, but an action. I devote myself to you for the rest of my life. I will hold fast to you so that whatever may come our way may never split us apart, but force us to draw near to each other, even closer than times of peace. I do not deserve you. Therefore, I will cherish you for as long as I live. The second is sacrifice. I vow to live out our marriage as a submission competition, and I will ensure that my hopes, dreams, and desires are secondary to what is best for our marriage. I will sacrifice my wants when least expected so that you may be lifted up. And I will be with you on every mountain, valley, garden, or desert I will mourn when you mourn and rejoice when you rejoice. We know this is countercultural, but I desire to reflect Christ's love for the church in my love for you. The third of these is grace. I vow to apply grace first when times get tough, 
I will make every effort to grant you the same lavish grace that God has given me to continue learning to be slow to anger, slow to speak, to listen and understand, and not to be readily able to conjure up excuses or points to win arguments. And the last of these is adventure. I vow to cultivate a life of adventure for us. I desire to notice when times get stale so that I may constantly find ways to reignite our passion for each other, to learn how to lead our household in righteousness and by keeping Christ at the center of it all. May our careers be characterized by service to others and with however many children God may bless us with, may our time be marked by unifying and beneficial activities for our future children and us. I'm blessed to be yours forever. I love you, Kendra. When I first met you, I remember feeling so blessed to have someone like you as a friend. You were always someone who would listen and give me advice about tough situations. When I saw you, I would instantly feel happy and excited to see you. At that time, I never could have imagined that I would be here today marrying you. The ways that you love me is something that I thought would only ever be a dream. You continuously point me to God in times when trust and comfort don't come easy. I see the way you treat others around you, and I have to say this will be something I always admire about you. You make everyone you surround yourself with feel special and loved. Your heart for people is so big. I promise to stay humble enough to admit when I am wrong and to seek wisdom when I don't have the answers. I promise to always be there for you. I promise to love God first because he will show me the ways that I can love you better. I know that love is an action word and it's not just a feeling, so I promise to show you love through my actions and my words. I promise to trust you and continue to assume the best of you. I promise to continue working to grow our marriage and to remain patient in the unknown. I promise to comfort you and to continuously communicate. I look forward to growing with you as we continue to learn more about each other. I'm excited about what the future will look like as we continue to trust God's plan for our lives together. I love you forever, Nicholas. I say that I love you